What is up guys, my name is Wawa and I'm back with another awesome notes video. This time it is you know a patch notes time as Ronma Games just released patch 1.4 for awesome notes. There are some key changes for some characters, some got away freely without any nerfs or buffs or whatsoever. And I'm just gonna throw, go through all the list real quick. Not really gonna mention all of them. I'm gonna give you guys the link in the description box on where you can find these patch notes. But I just basically want you guys to be self aware on what the changes are for this game so far. So first up, let's go to the new features. The remove the time. They basically remove the time you were required to wait before being able to open the shop while waiting for the drop pod to launch. So I'm actually not aware about this thing. It's not really a big deal to me. I'm pretty sure some of you guys don't feel the same. And maybe it's crucial, maybe not. Graphics in the main menu have been updated. So it's actually this is just a small thing. But then again, it's kind of cute that they did this, as you guys can see right here. This is pretty much the main menu right now. And you guys can see the droids now clearly and also the machine gun off that turret. It's actually pretty cool. Let's go on to character balances and fixes right now. Froggy G first up. There are a lot of changes for Froggy G. So first up, we have cooldown of Splash Dash has been increased from 6 seconds to 7 seconds. That's actually really not bad because Splash Dash has can be easily just spam over and over and over again and a lot of people are actually not happy about that but then again we will see though we will see it might be too much might be too little we'll see it's not really it's only like day one there's only been like what 14 hours since the patch came out so yeah recovery time of splash is no longer reduced by upgrades that reduce the cooldown of the ability that's actually going to be a key thing i believe and some uh, players who play Froggy G for their main will definitely definitely feel that and also another change right here on this flash dash as well which is pretty pretty interesting to know also can't sh can't touch these the upgrade for tornado move will no longer protect Froggy G from status effects such as blind stun and snare stun and effects stun and snare effects will now interrupt tornado move this is actually a really really big deal seriously a big deal this is gonna pretty much nerf Frog G a good amount. I'd say a good amount. It's a good amount of characters have stun and snare effects, and we'll see how this plays in the meta game right now. There's also some price changes in this upgrade. Price of mutant worms has been reduced from 165 sword to 110. That's actually that's actually not that bad. Price of thornfish. This is pretty much his shotgun upgrade has been increased from 280 solar to 450 solar that is a huge huge change that pretty much makes this upgrade for uh, available from early to mid to just late mid to late game because it's really not viable anymore as an option in the early stages of the game and personally unless you're pretty a pretty pretty awesome farmer with frog G without splash dash and all his skills maybe you can buy it in like five minutes or so but we will see though, we will see. Coco Nebulon. She has a ton of changes. First off, he ha she has a new skill called Heavenly Fire. Or no, Heavenly Fire has been redesigned and now adds a blaze effect to Lightning Ball. So that's actually a good change right there for Coco. But then again, I'm still not aware on how good it is because I haven't even played it. I haven't touched it. I haven't really seen anyone give a complete feedback about this yet. And I'm pretty sure there are going to be some good uh, uses for it as well especially with like good upgrades for the blaze earlier on maybe you can upgrade it for like for more maximum damage it's gonna add to the 35 initial damage and if you capture them getting hit by the blaze it's gonna just add more damage to them which is pretty cool which is pretty cool blaze time travel turbine price reduced from 165 solar to 100 solar i believe this is the um, sp speed movement the movement speed increase so that's actually really, really good. If I'm mistaken, please do correct me. But 100 solar for 2.5 increased movement speed for 2.5 seconds is really, really good, I have to say. We also have another skill here. Super Conductor Electrify has been redesigned and now adds homing electricity particles to your attack. Super Conductor Electrify deals 3 damage per particle. So that's actually pretty interesting as well. I'm not even sure if Coco's attack is AoE still. Because basically back in the previous patch here attacks are you it does splash damage to everything that's our basic attack i'm not even sure if this is the same way with the new attack right now or 
Maybe it is still AoE and then adds 3 damage per particle still. I don't know. It might be too OP. I'll be net. I've read a couple of, of feedbacks from that and they're saying it's okay. It might be broken though. The price of conducting gel like mo has been increased from 180 to 210. That's the uh, knockback increase of the lightning ball and some other changes here as well. This is actually a major change right there at the bottom. Base health has been decreased from 125, 135 to 125. That 10 HP right there, that's actually pretty, pretty crucial because you now have to be really careful in the early stages of the game, especially without having that um, power pill upgrade. And that's actually what I like to go for. I just like to go for like all lightning bolt upgrades in the early stages of the game. And I survive with just 135 HP. And usually I go down to like really low up to like 1 HP remaining. So that 10 health decrease definitely will apply my playstyle. Let's go on to Volta right now. Health drones have been increased from 20. Health drones. Health of drones, excuse me, has been increased from 15 to 20. That's something. The cooldown of drones has been reduced from 12 seconds to 11 seconds. That's actually pretty good as well. Even though the damage of self destruct is pretty weak now, this could actually help out a bit, especially reducing this uh, yeah one second cooldown. Then plus the cooldown upgrade five seconds, I believe it's gonna go down to like six seconds, which is really cool, really crazy. The volume of drone explosion has been reduced. That's actually pretty good as well. A lot of people get irritated whenever that thing happens. Maybe because it's as loud, or maybe it's, it's louder than when Clunk self destructs himself, which is pretty funny. The effective range of healbot has been increased from 6.6 .6 to 8. That is a huge deal. That's 8 in diameter, basically. Or 8, yeah, 8 in diameter or read. I'm actually not sure if it's in radius or diameter. That's actually pretty crazy if it's in radius. That's more range. Looks like, I believe when I saw the trailer, it's like 8 in radius. So that's actually more range to do more healing and do more damage. Basically, they also did some changes with his... Um, attack damage for the heal bot i'm gonna read through that right here that track rate of turret add-on heal bot has been increased from 30 to 240 so it's pretty much basically uh how do you say one attack per 0.01 seconds not really though because that means you're uh, um, yeah i can't really compute that properly but yeah they change it so basically the attack of heal bot it doesn't go on impulse anymore like 20 damage per one second or 40 damage per one second now it goes for like two consistently it's like getting poisoned basically and that's actually gonna be interesting to see if that's gonna be pretty op or pretty not especially with the increase of the range of healing of healbot so i'm actually interested to using that as well on derpal's changes she has actually a new skill she he i'm not really sure if derpal's a she or he iron fist bullets in siege mode now give a chance to stun their target rather than doing knockback so that's actually a huge update as well stuns always crucial it's really really good because basically when you stun someone you can do so much to that target compared to being knocked back because being knocked back it's it can actually save your life especially when Derpal just releases nuke and then he's continuously firing at you and then you get knocked back you can easily just avoid that nuke so yeah, having that change to stun is definitely, definitely a uh, buff, in my opinion. Also, this could definitely help out Derpo dealing with Froggy G, especially with the new nerf that Froggy G get, got right now, which is that he can get stunned, especially, or even if he does that, can touch this tornado move upgrade. So that's actually really crucial. So you can just easily cancel out Froggy G's tornado spin, even if uh, Froggy G has that upgraded. Uh, Darefoil's Iron Fist bullets have a 10% chance to stun their target for 0.5 seconds. Even though it's 0.5 seconds, it doesn't look that long, but then again, it, you could do some damage. You can do some extra damage, definitely, especially when you have a Leon chasing down your opponent. Darefoil now is now lo no longer able to jump during the transformation in and out of Switch Mode. That's not, that's not bad. Switch Mode base damage from 9 to 10. So that's actually something. Hollow point bullet upgrade split into two upgrades, adding two damage each. So I actually just did a lookup on this and every upgrade is 220. So 220 for two points extra damage and 440 for plus four basically. It's I guess it's gonna be it's 14 damage in total. I guess it's pretty reasonable. 
I'm not actually still in mixed emotions about this because even though it's only 14 damage, it's only flush 4, you do a lot of uh, firing really fast. So it kind of pays out in the end. And Hoover Cats now fly straight rather than fl float forward. It's actually Hover Cats, I believe, not Hoover. Damn you, Romino. Romino. Ronimo. <laughs> Leon did some. Uh, uh, did, Leon did get some changes as well. I'm actually not aware from cheese and garlic mints. I think this is yeah the silence effect. I'm not really a big fan of this uh, skill, so that's actually not a big thing for me. Yuri, the price of sw fly swatter. This is actually the damage, the plus one damage every time you hit a new target. Basically, like when you're waving your laser around, then you keep on hitting the new target, you get more damage initially, then it weakens afterwards. So the price of that has been reduced from 270 solar to 165 solar. That's actually pretty good because it's only plus one. It's actually not that good of an upgrade. And I don't think there's any levels for it as well. So it's only plus one. It's Yeah, it really needs to justify why it is in one of your slots for your laser upgrade. And then finally at Gnaw, Acid Spit will no longer disappear when fired close to a wall. It's actually really good because it do get does get irritating uh, after a long while the price of feather ball acid spit has been reduced from 220 solar to 180 solar that's actually pretty good but then again that's actually not the price change that i was expecting a lot of people are actually expecting to, uh, some changes with the plus 10 damage increase in his spit upgrade because it's pretty expensive but then again it's plus 10 so I don't know, it still makes emotions about that. <laughs> I still think it's pretty expensive, but I guess this is a step to the right direction, I believe. Weedlings will no longer fire bullets when blinded. That's actually maybe just a bug fix. Fix the bug where Nos Weedling parts would randomly reset. And no, he can now correctly bite behind him when walking away from the target. That is actually a really, really good thing. Because I was also irritated when I was trying to kite away from an opponent not get, being able to bite my opponent properly whenever I was kiting him so that's actually a really helpful fix and also some major fixes uh, direct X V sync colorblind implemented colorblind friendly icons into the minimap that's actually pretty good for those people who has colorblind issues and also improvements have been made to matchmaking system which should improve stability for players who previously had problems getting into match with only y humans players only human players so that's actually a really good thing as well and let's check out uh, this fix a couple of networking issues that's actually pretty good because there's been a lot of latency issues lately for me personally like after patch 1.4 or patch 1.3 and hopefully they get corrected that and finally players will no longer join matches through the matchmaking system when a third protecting the base has sustained significant damage Players are still able to join these matches through invitations or the join game button in their friends list. This is actually a huge, huge deal. If you guys are not going to be able to, like, if you guys find a hard or, sorry, let me rephrase that. If you guys get, oh my god, I can't even rephrase that properly. If you guys do get a hard time, um... If you guys do get a hard time like finding a proper match lately it's because of this basically it's gonna lessen the searchable options of um, games and with the small number of players right now like basically I usually see like 400 players online 500 players online maybe on peak hours maybe like 1500 online so it's not really a lot of players and that's I believe only in America I guess or only in NA and then there's also a different number count in EU I believe but yeah it's it's really gonna affect the amount of games you're gonna be able to play I'm actually not sure if they are considering the damage dealt to the first tower or the second tower like the no one nearest to your core because basically significant damage to your first tower it's still pretty winnable it's not really that bad and maybe significant damage to your second tower that's actually pretty horrible or if you lose two of your two of your first towers that that's actually pretty bad so if ever that happens you're not supposed to join the, any game at or that game anymore and yeah i think i, I hope i hope they did this properly i hope they didn't like 
oh my god my my first tower is already like down to 60 hp per hp 60 percent hp and it's pretty much not winnable anymore reset surrender blah 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 i hope it's not the, that case and i hope ronimo did this pretty well anyways that's it for dispatch no sorry for sorry if it's a little bit uh kind of lazy <laughs> in a way because it is indeed 12 a.m right now and I'm kind of sleepy and I'm waking up in four hours to go back to work anyways hope you guys like this video please do comment on the video about what your thoughts are on the patch notes and I'm sorry if this video is a little bit longer compared to my other patch notes because I'm actually interested more on some of these patch notes that's why I wanted to uh, focus on them more but yeah Please do comment down below on what you guys think. If you guys like something, if you guys hate something, if you if you guys can suggest something they can do as well, that would be awesome. Let's start the conversation in the comments and that would be pretty awesome. And I hope you guys have a good day, have a good night, have a good afternoon. And I will see you guys very, very soon. Most likely, I will be streaming this weekend. So if you guys are interested in watching me stream, please do follow me at w www.twitter.com slash I don't know what they said www anyways whatever hope you guys have a good day and I will see you guys soon peace out I am out bye